Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excelvity 147. Last time we were playing over here with some if functions, and let me show you what kind of data I have today. What I have is some dummy billing codes, and then let's assume I have a contracted amount here in column E, and a fee schedule in column F, and then over here in column G, I've been able to look up from my PM system somehow how often I've billed these codes. And what I want to know is I want to know two things. First, I want to know if the fee schedule is bigger than the contract, then I'm okay. I, I'm not worried that if somebody pays me the lesser of what I bill or the contract, I'm going to leave any money on the table. I want to make sure my fee schedule is bigger than my contract. Uh, so that's what I've done here with these random numbers. For those of you who worked up at the OIG, these are random numbers. Uh, so here's my random fee schedule. And I want to make sure, number one, is the fee schedule bigger than the contract? And if so, I want you to tell me okay. And then the second problem is, let's look at code four here. The contract is actually bigger than the fee schedule. So every time I bill this, they're going to pay me the 150, even though they would have paid me the 152 if I'd billed more than that. But I don't have any volume here. I've never billed this code during the year that I went back and looked. So uh, I want it, on those, I want to know no volume. There's no volume here. It's a problem, but it's, I haven't left any money on the table. I need to fix it, but that's not as big a deal as this one here that's a problem where the contract is 67, my fee schedule is 65, and I build it a whole bunch of times. So how do I use the if function to look at is this bigger than this and is times build enough to worry about? And here's, how you did, here's how I did it. And maybe what let's do is uh, we'll attack this two ways. The first way we're going to do it is we're going to just start and look at the function. So let's do the insert function window. And my logical test is this, and let's just slide this maybe over here so you can see. Is F5 greater than E5? So is my fee schedule greater than the contract? If that's true, here's value of true, then just put OK. If it's false, if the contract's bigger than the fee schedule, then I've got a second if going on. And what that says is, tell me if 1 is greater than G5, or in other words, have I billed this more than one time? And the answer on this one is, well, yeah, I have, so um, that was going to come back as a problem. Because, again, it, this is just an if, like the overall if is. And let's maybe this might be helpful as well. We'll click inside this if right here, and then look at the function. So what's that say? If 1 is greater than G5, the times build, then there's no volume. But if G5 is greater than 1, then we say, ah, I've got a problem. Not only is my contract... Le a bigger number than my fee schedule. My fee schedule is too low, but I've billed this a bunch of times, so there's my problem. So um, if we come back and just look at this in um, just the formula without going to the function window, if F5 is greater than E5, okay. If it's false, then go look and see if 1 is greater than G5, and if that's true, no problem. If that's false, problem. So if it's true, I do something. If it's false, I do another if. Let's come over here and look at the same thing. Over here, if E5 is greater than F5, I got the same thing, but I'm going the other way. Look at this. This is if F5 is greater than E5, then I'm okay, and that's true. This one says if it's going the other way, if E5, if the contract's bigger than the fee schedule, then I need to know if I have a problem. So in this one, my, it, my second if statement, my nested if statement, is if it's true, then go figure out if I've got a problem or if there's no volume. And if it's false, I'm okay. And the reason I did it two different ways is just to show you, you can nest one if inside another, and you can make it, if it's true, do this, or you can say, all right, if it's false, put another if in there. That's how you, you nest if functions. If this is true, then do this. If it's false, then that. And inside the true or the false, you can put a second if to help you branch out and answer more questions with just one cell. I hope that was straightforward enough to be helpful. And uh, we'll keep going with more of the logical stuff in the formulas tab next time. Thanks for watching.